everybody. I'm Beth Parnon with Fun With Fitness. We're going to do a little gentle workout for you today. Uh, if you have a, need a second, please grab a chair and some weights if you have them. And if you don't have any, we, you can use two bottles of water or two cans of soup. Anything that will give you a little bit of resistance. And it's always a good idea to have some water handy especially if it's going to be a warm day when you are working out. So let's just warm up here and we will get to work. Remember to listen to your body and do what you can. If something bothers you, make sure that you take it down a notch or adapt to something else. Throw those arms in and out. Good job. Just be nice and easy with it. Have fun with it. Feel good about moving your body around. It's been a time to get ourselves back in the groove. The weather stabilizing. Cross over and over. Now let's drop it down a little more so we can pull the shoulder more across the front of us. And taking both arms. Again with the shoulders down. Step it across. And hold. Here you go. As if you want to try and hammer something. Bring it across. You. Over. And over. And over. Back to relaxing. Here. And let's go. And press over. And press it. Move it. And let's go right back to where we started. Lift. Press it. Now, take it up and lift. Press. And right to the front now, punch. And punch. Cross. Cross it. That's it. Punch. Forward, forward. Now we're going to give it a little hook. Ready? Hook under and under. Hook it. Press it, move it under, and take it across you now. Cut, cut, and nice and strong. Work across, try to keep your shoulders down. Back to hooking right, under, go. That's it. Now hold it, lift and lower, up and over, press it. Keep your wrist right over your elbow. Move it here, open it in and out. Ready for the other side, and here you go. Up, over, and over. Rest, move. Remember, do what you can. Rest, up, over. Now just take a break. Dangle those arms, free twist, and twist. Now step it out. And bring it right back in. And forward, back. Forward, back. Just step. Go back where you started. Now use your arms a little more. Breathe out. Press it. Put as much effort into it as you can. And press. Move it. Good. Now, try to give it a little hop. Hop it, if you can. The more effort, the more your heart will benefit. Press, and press. Ready? Change to your other foot. Start slow, and then gradually increase your effort. That's it. Hop, and press it. That's it. Keep your arms going. Now move it. And reach. Go. And go. Back to march in place. Two steps. Ready? One and two. Step together. Step, touch, go. Over. Step. And push. Reach. 
punch it up, reach it, punch across, press across, move, over, there you go, now lift it, and up, and reach, press it up, get right up to where the ceiling and wall meet if you can, punch it up there, go, now take it down, Reach, press, out, left, set, one, and now forward, one, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, one, two, three, that's it, just take a walk and go back to where you started, arms don't forget, that's it, Last set as you march. Keep going. Keep going. With a little kick here and here. Move it out. Slide those feet out right in front of you. Press out and out. Now turn your toe in. Tuck, tuck, tuck it. Twist, twist, and round. Back to how we started with the kick. Reach. And lift up and up. Nice and gentle, but with a little intention of getting higher every time. There you go. When you get tired, just take it down to a march. It's better if you don't just stop, but you take it down to a march. Kick, kick, nice, move it, kick, and cross, kick, reach, press, swing your arms with you, and march, touch, and touch, now kick in the back, you want to work for your hamstrings, Press it up and use your arms. Pull up. Pull that heel towards your lower back. Press it. Lift it. And move it. Now let's just go out to the side. Kick out. Move it. Out. Press. Kick. Back to your heels. There you go. Lift them. Move them up. Lift. And to the side, kick, up, reach, press up, move it out, and march. Nice work. And step open, and lunge it here, press, push. Now lift one heel. Fall all your weight right over that heel. Let those legs carry you. Press it and move it and press. Take it over. Now we're just going to switch sides. Lift that heel. Press and lift it up. Working through the arch. Press and up. And lift, and move it. And just hold, circle through your ankles. Get it all the way around, just circle it. Get that fluidity throughout the body. Now reverse it. Press it around, circle through, and around, and hold. Slide in and in, and stretch, reach. Each time, try to go just a little farther, but keep your back nice and straight. Press it here, and now just reach out. See if you can push more with your ribs. And reach to the side of your room. Press it out there, and out. Ready, changing sides. And let's go. Press over, and press over. Press it to the side. Nice. 
Shoulders back. And here we go to the side. Reach out. Press it up. Try to have your shoulder and wrist level. Press it nice. Work here. And reach. And good job. Just shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. And grab yourself a chair. Have one. You need a second? Go get one. With a nice straight back would help a lot. And just march it out. Press it out. Move it to the side. Up and down and up and down. And hold. Come to the side with one hand on and kick out. Now you're going directly to the side. So you work into the hip here. Keep your shoulders down and your back nice and straight. Try to keep your foot forward as much as you can. Press out and reach out. Now let's turn your foot in and pulse it out. So basically what you're doing is pushing out through the ankle. Press, push, move it out right to the side and you're going to set it down and take a little walk to the other side. We'll give this standing leg a little change of pace for a minute. Now, right to the side with your other one. Good. Press it up and lift. Reach out. Press up. And reach out. And hold it out with your foot turned right in towards your other arch. I hope you've been having some fun times while you have been at home. Maybe you could be working on a hobby, getting some reading done, maybe get some projects done you've been wanting to do. It's a time to look at old photos maybe. Think of all those, listen to some music and think of all those good memories. Press it out and take it down. Shake it out and take a walk again right back to the other side. Point your leg right to the side and come across. This is so good for your inner thighs. Come across, press it across, and out. Come across, and out. Press. You can get a hold of me at Fun With Fit at sbcglobal.net and I would love to hear about some of the things you have been doing. Or you can email me if you have any questions. Now you want to hold your foot here with a flexed foot and lean right with that arch. So you are contracting at the top of your thighs. Press it here, move it across. Press it across. Nice work. Now you're going to take a walk right back to the other side. Let's go. You'll get a little break, break on that standing leg. So again, you're going to come right out to the side and cut across. And across. Press it across. That's it. This should feel good. It's a free move. And over. Press and press out and press out. Good. Now get ready to get your foot flexed and contract your upper thighs. Press it across. Move it across. Take it back. Oh. Press. Move it. Nice. Work. Four, three, two, and one. Set it down. Shake yourself out a little bit. And let's go back to our starting side. Holding on for balance. You want to lift and circle. Press it out and around. Lift up and circle. Take it as high as you can. Maybe start low and then try to come a little higher each time. Real good for your hips. 
for flexibility, for range of motion, all the things that tighten up in a hurry if we don't move them. That's it. Let's do two more. Here's one and two. That's it. Let's get on over to the other side. Ready? Here we go. Lift it up. Start low and lift up each time. See how much you can increase that range of motion. It's your effort that counts. Press it around and lift it and press it around and around. Two and one. Shake it out and hold on to the back of your chair. Let's stretch those legs out. You want to reach back with your toes, press your foot down, heel down, and try to have that back foot straight. And then bend your front knee gently, gently. And step in. And ready, let's go back and press it in. Take it back. Nice, very nice. Then leave that foot back there, put the other one with it. And then sit down and stretch. Try to have a nice straight back. Good. Excellent work for the hips and legs. Take one second and grab what you want to use as weights. Grab your weights if you have them, or grab two water bottles. They work perfectly. Or you can use two soup cans. Anything that's going to give you a little resistance. So why don't we sit down and get ourselves ready to do some resistance work, which is so important for keeping our bones strong. So take what you're using as weights, one in each hand. Arms right to your side, and just let's do some bicep curls. Press it up, and lift. See how your upper arms are nice into your body. And your feet are away from the chair a little bit. So you're not sitting like this, cutting off that circulation. You want to help your body as much as you can. Press it up and down. Good. Let's do four more. Here's four. And three. And two. And one. Let's come up and cross again, but bring the 